scanning the room for my informative speech. For this speech, I'll be using three note cards. This is my first with 29 number words. second with 41 number words and my third with 15 number words. It's beginning to be that time of year again. Time to make cookies and drive to see family members, get ready for the Christmas spirit, and to bundle up when going outside. But uh-oh, you forgot to winterize your car. There are some many useful steps that each individual should do every winter before braving out on the slippery and bad winter roads, especially in Iowa. According to Gordon Dixon, who wrote an article in Car Time in the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, there are many useful steps that each individual should know and do to winterize their car to make sure that they will be driving safely throughout the whole entire winter. First of all, windshield wipers. A person might not really understand that windshield wipers get old. Therefore, once they get old, when it goes back and forth, they begin to get kind of slimy and things will build up. And when you're in a snowstorm and you need those windshield wipers to be clear, it can become a very big problem if you have a bunch of smearing on your windshield. So, if you see this problem is occurring, definitely right away go in to get some new windshield wipers to make sure your clarity when driving is definitely alright. Next up, tire pressure. Tire pressure is especially important in the winter months when it's cold, very cold. It's very important to keep your tire pressure at a good minimum level. You don't want to have them too high or too low because the cold temperatures will make them go up and down a lot. This is definitely evident when you're driving and the road gets to be a little bumpy. This is okay, this is what the winter months do, but you wanna make sure that your tires have just the right amount of pressure in them. That's very important. Next up is your gas tank. Now, it's very difficult for gas to freeze nowadays with how it's made but it's very important to have your gas tank at least halfway full. This is a good solution because if you were to get stranded on the road somehow and you're waiting for help, it's good to be able to keep your car on. And you can only keep your car on if you have a significant amount of gas left. That's why it's very important to be driving with enough gas in the winter months. Now, most importantly to me, I think it's very necessary to carry a few definite items in your car, especially during the winter months. These items include a shovel. You want to make sure you have a shovel in your car if you need to dig out a little snow if you get stuck and it gets stuck under your tires. That's very important. Next up, a scraper. Ice tends to stick very, very well to your windshield and that scraper is good to get that ice off and make sure you don't have to sit there for a long time defrosting your car. Also, it's very important to keep some extra mittens and hats in your car, just in case you'll be stranded. You never know when a problem may occur, and it's always good to be prepared about that to make sure you don't get too cold. Jim Sayers quotes, If your car would break down on a cold night and you're in the middle of nowhere, a cell phone would allow you to get help very quickly. And this is very important. It's never safe to drive while talking or texting on your cell phone, but it's very important to have a cell phone on you, especially during the winter months when you're going for a drive. You never know when you're gonna be able to call someone up and ask them for help. So it's very important to drive with a cell phone at all times. Winter is a very nice and pretty few months, but it also can be very dangerous, especially in Iowa. It's very important to practice these few steps in order to make sure that you're going to be safe on your way 
in the winter months. Just like according to the DMV, they state, climate changes don't affect just you, they affect your car. And it's very important to make sure your car is winterized. I'm scanning the room again. This is my first note card. My second note card. And my third. And that was my informative speech.